G'day, g'day, Tony Lander here. Have you ever tried to tie some knots in your rope or tie your horse up and ended up in a big mess? I know some people do. I mean, do you ever wonder how people can just do a nice, quiet, polite knot like this and get it to happen? I want to show you three knots in this video. The first one is the Clovich, the second one is the Stockman's Bolin, and the third one is the Bank Robber Knot. The Stockman's Bolin and the Bank Robber Knot are safety knots. So if you can tie your horse up, safely then you can have this knot that is also a safe knot it comes undone directly and you can take your horse straight away easily safely no problem and you'll see this video i'm a bit younger maybe a bit plumper <laughs> so it's an old video but it's still really valid for these three knots to know so see you on the inside okay what i thought i'd do is show you three knots that'd be really handy uh, the first one will be how to put your lead rope or your makate or your horseman's reins while you're riding your horse how to tie them on the horn and of course not everyone has a horn i understand that but i want to show you the knot so this is called a clove hitch or two half hitches the idea would be the rope that goes down to the clip on the halter or the reins so down to the bit is there the other end is here and we take one twist one half a twist just like that and hang it on the horn then we pick up the end of the rope and we do the same twist half a twist and put it on. So we end up with two half hitches or what's called a clove hitch. Runs around, underneath and continues the same direction around and underneath. So that's one way to do it. Another way is just flip it on and flip it on. You can get pretty slick at it. This is a nice way to have it on the horn. That's one, a clove hitch. The next one, the next two knots are about how to tie your horse safely or should I say how to tie a safety knot and your horse should already be able to be tied up and, and come off the pressure. So this is important before you tie up. So I'm suggesting before you tie them, make sure they will come off the pressure. So we'll show you first the Stockman's Bolin. And this one, you put around the rail twice. The end of the rope around the rail twice, like that. Pull it back through. Now we make a what we might call a halo in the piece that goes to the horse or to the halter. Then bring the end of the rope around twice around the halo put it through and make a loop back through the loop you had there or through the halo. So it's all like this, now it's kind of loose. So what we do is pull the piece tight that goes to the horse. And now we have it tied. Now some horses are very clever. They can actually undo these because they play with the rope and they can just pull it undone. So what you can do again is put a half hitch around the loop. And of course, as much as you can, keep your fingers out of the loops. So when you want to come undone, undo the lock the half hitch and then pull the rope and it comes undone comes undone comes undone and then you just take it off the rail so it's a good safety knot so the second one is a great one it's called a bank robber knot or a john wayne knot fold your rope in half and lay the loop over the rail now take the end piece of the rope between the loop and the piece that goes to the horse bring it around the loop first right around back underneath the main line bring the end over and make a loop again and put it through this loop and then pull the piece tight that goes to the horse like this now this one is really good it's also a clever horse can undo it because they pull the end again you can put a lock on it a half hitch around that loop and then if they pull on it, it doesn't come undone when you want to get it off again it's a safety knot you can undo it pull it pull it pull it and it just falls off the rail that's why it's called a bank robber knot, because they used to use it in the movies, go in and rob the bank, come out, grab the horse, and away they go. 